full of pride during his graduation. Jacob waited for the principal to call his name in recognition of his accomplishments. Yet, when it was finally his turn, the principal took one look at him, paused, and moved on to the next name on the list. For some reason, Jacob had been overlooked at his own graduation. But when people found out why, they were up in arms. <laughs> Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Jacob Dalton Stanley was born and raised in Crown Point, Indiana, where he attended Crown Point High School. Unlike most teenage boys his age, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. Since he was a young boy, he had dreams of joining the military and reaching the ranks of sergeant. He wanted to be just like his father and first began expressing his interest in the armed forces when he was just 10 years old. Jacob knew that it would be a hard road to reach his dreams, so he made sure to keep his nose in the books at the school to prepare himself for what was to come. Just after wrapping up most of his studies, Jacob went and applied to be a Marine. He then continued to do the necessary boot camp, making it home in Indiana just in time for his graduation. Little did he know how that would turn out. Upon returning home from boot camp, he was greeted by his mother and girlfriend. They couldn't have been more proud of him and all that he managed to accomplish. Of course, Jacob was sporting his Marine Corps uniform, with his mother almost breaking down in tears the first time she saw him in it. Jacob had done what he set out to do despite anyone who had ever doubted him. On top of it all, Jacob was about to graduate. Beaming with pride, Jacob, his mom Kathy and his girlfriend all got into the car and headed to the graduation ceremony. Today was a big day for Jacob. He was beginning a new chapter in his life. He was more than ready to have that diploma in his hand finally. After all, he knew that he deserved it after all the hard work that he had put in over the years. Now, it was only a few hours away. When Jacob arrived at school for the ceremony, he walked among the crowd saying hello to his friends and teachers, with some people even giving him a salute as he passed. The excitement in the air was palpable among the soon-to-be graduates, parents and teachers. What Jacob had decided to wear had become a topic of discussion, and while it wasn't intended to cause any problems, it turned out to be more trouble than anyone could have imagined. The principal at Crown Point High School was a man named Chip Pettit. The graduation began once he took the stage, picked up the microphone and began the opening lines to the commencement speech. Once he finished, it was time for the students' names to be called out. Pettit then began reading the names of the graduates down the list in the alphabetical order. It was only a matter of time until the entire stadium would be shocked. By the time Principal Pettit reached the S names, Jacob could barely contain his excitement. To honor the occasion, Jacob had even prepared a small acceptance speech that he would share with the crowd. He was up, there was a pause, and then his name wasn't called. Pettit looked directly at Jacob, smirked, and then moved on to the next name, clearly skipping Jacob on purpose. Jacob couldn't believe it. There had to be some kind of mistake. Jacob looked down and realized the reason must be because he was wearing his Marine Corps uniform instead of the required dress code for the graduation. But Jacob wasn't trying to be offensive or directly go against the principal. He was proud of his accomplishment and wanted to show people his plans after receiving his diploma. While the principal had made a comment earlier about his uniform, Jacob politely told him it was what he wanted to wear. Did the punishment fit the crime? Jacob was wearing the uniform, symbolizing that he was willing to lay his life down for his country. Why was he being treated like this? His mother looked around and noticed other students whose names had been called that had also broken the dress code. In an interview, Kathy went on to say there was one student who wore shorts and gym shoes and another student who wore a red turban symbolizing his religious views. For his graduation, Jacob decided that he wanted to wear his full-dress blue Marine Corps. At the time, there was nothing in the Crown Point Community School Corps bylaws that stated whether U.S. military uniforms could be worn at graduation or not. Not a single person seemed to care except for the principal. In fact, the majority of people were outraged by the whole situation, considering that Jacob had just enlisted to serve the country. Leanne Tusterson, one of Jacob's fellow graduates, commented that the situation was absolutely ridiculous. 
He is in the military, putting his life on the lines for us. It was unacceptable that he was not allowed to walk across the stage. Tosterson went on to say that all of the fellow students were outraged and were prepared to walk out of the graduation in solidarity with Jake. It didn't take long for the word to spread about what had happened at the graduation. Crystal Hernandez, who heard the story posted on Facebook, wrote this. It amazes me that all through life, people are always telling you to be proud, that you're different, celebrate your uniqueness. Yet, at one of the most memorable events in your life, an administrator makes the decision to completely destroy your accomplishments. Even the House Education Committee heard the story not long after everything had happened. One user on Facebook posted, I sent a letter to Mr. Pettit today. I know a lot of people who are pulling all financial support for CPHS and their programs over this. If that were my son, I would have escorted him across the stage. During all this commotion, the real question was what Mr. Pettit had to say. According to him, Jacob had been warned. Supposedly, when Jacob participated in the Crown Point High School graduation ceremony rehearsal that day, Mr. Pettit had approached Jacob, informing him that he wouldn't be able to wear his uniform during the ceremony. Jacob didn't think much of it and was shocked when the principal stayed true to his word. While Mr. Petit had given Jacob a warning, was Jacob's name off the list the right thing to do? Was it worth it? Despite all the hate that Principal Petit received for what had happened at the graduation, he stood his ground. He was firm in his beliefs that he was only enforcing school policy and that Jacob could have worn a military stole or cord over his gown to demonstrate that he was going into the Marines. Pettit commented to the NBC Chicago, stating, This tradition is not intended to be disrespectful to students, parents, or our community, but as a source of pride for us students. Of course, people were still infuriated. To anger the public even more, at Hobart High School, a young woman named Anna Kritikas has also enlisted in the Marine Corps and graduated early to do so. She was even given the permission to wear her military uniform during the official commencement ceremony with all the other students. Supposedly, when she asked the administration if she could wear her uniform, they were in total support of the idea and commended her for it. Praising the administration for letting her wear the uniform, Anna commented, They have been absolutely amazing. It is okay with the Marines for us to wear our uniforms at high school graduation. I know the school board, the principal and superintendent talked about it and we were in agreement that I could wear my Marine uniform. So why wasn't Jacob allowed to wear his when other schools were encouraging their students to? While Crown Point High School was still under fire for what had happened to Jacob, Peggy Buffington, the Hobart High superintendent, had something else to say. We recognize audience members and future military in our graduates by having them stand, she said. It is always a very special and patriotic moment where the audience roars with applause. This year was especially nice because Anna Kritikos graduated midterm and landed just in time for the graduation ceremony. According to a U.S. Marine Corps spokesman, school dress code is not something that the military gets involved in. Marine Corps Major Clark Carpenter commented, The Marine Corps does not dictate what the specific high school schoolers can or cannot graduate in. That decision is up to the school's leadership. While some people were disappointed to hear this, it turns out that the school leaders may not have the last to say when it comes to wearing military uniforms for long. As the news spread, it reached the ears of state representative Mike Ellsworth, who was beside himself regarding Jacob's story. Being a veteran himself, he had something to say about it. He said, what happened I found not appropriate. I think people who are willing to put themselves in harm's way should have the option to wear a uniform at graduation. Unsurprisingly, countless people agreed with him. But something was about to happen. Before long, State Representative Mike Aylesworth had achieved committee approval for a new bill that made it so school districts could allow students already serving in the military to wear the dress uniform rather than the traditional cape and gown. After the bill passed, Mike added, It's a hodgepodge of local school board regulations all over the state. I just want to make it constant all over the state. He was praised for his efforts by the public. Older Wheeler Stanley, Jacob's father, refused to comment about exactly what happened at the graduation. He did say that he would support legislation in enforcing a uniform standard across the state. 
When Jacob was later asked how he felt about everything, he said, I don't want the social media controversy that is drawing attention away from the class of 2017. I also do not want to make any additional statements and wish to put this all behind me so I can start my career in the Marine Corps.